stuff shines the heck out of uh, plastic and preserves it. Do just a section at a time. Make as much as you can. It don't matter where we go. It don't matter where we stay tonight. Cause when I'm with you. Hey guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna give the Colorado Trail Boss uh, its first wash. So I'm gonna spray it down first as a pre-soak with um, my pressure washer. We're gonna be using um, um, Adam's uh, car shampoo. I think it's one of the best, it does a great job. And we're gonna be foam bathing it in here. So I'm gonna do a pre-soak and then um, I'm gonna shake this up. I don't put a whole lot in here. It actually, you know, a little goes a long way uh, for the for the atoms. I think this has lasted me. Gosh, this is darn near eight months old now. This and uh, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, this the sprayer I'm using here, um, this foam foam dis I guess distributor. Um, I bought this from Harbor Freight <laughs> and. It worked way better than Chemical Guys. I had a Chemical Guys one, um, right? And it leaked and it was absolutely uh, horrible. So, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and we're gonna, we're gonna give her a good spray now. We're gonna do a pre-soak real quick and then we go from there. Use my white tip. Don't mind that. <laughs> the light spray. So if you can see this water beading, right? How this is beading, um, you'll see it here. See how it beads? I used Griot's Garage 3-in-1 Ceramic, um, and it does a great job. And that's if you don't want to do a ceramic coating, I'll pay the $2,000 for this type of truck. Just gonna do a spray, get everything wet. Run around to the other side a minute. Let me do this side first. So I'll start from the front. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Those hands and lights can't stop me I just hold on for dear life Yeah, I can't give up this feeling That I get when looking down from the sky Yeah. Oh, did pretty good. Oh yeah. Not entirely, but I mean, I think when I opened it, that sprayed in. Yeah. But I mean, really, you know, all things considered. Not too shabby. Clean that seal up a second. Um, that water will come out. I'm not too worried about that. But let's go into our drying process. This is going to be an interesting one.
Hey guys, so now that we did a wash um, and I just did a basic blow dry, um, I'm gonna go through again and put, this is the ending part of it and that's the three-in-one ceramic by Griot's Garage. Um, so I'm gonna be applying this and the way, the method that you want to apply this is um, you want to have one towel here and then you want to have a buff towel. So an, applica an application. Um, it's okay if this is still a little wet and it's not too bad though. So you're going to shake this a little bit, right? And this is this so smells you, good. This is so you can spread it. So just, you can spread it. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. So see, I'm gonna spread it just on the paint and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I spread, I'm gonna spread it. And then with this, you're gonna buff it off just like you would uh, like a wax. Just a good light buff. Clean that fender well up because I'm gonna use something different on these. And you can see that that it's already, already shiny. put a shine on it. And that's because this is the ceramic coat uh, for some Griot. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna apply. You don't need a whole lot because all we're doing is taking this and we're spreading it. I'm just spreading it. I want it all over the paint. Just get inside those. You can put it right over that, those plastics. Think of it kind of as, as a wax where it needs to be spread. That panel. See, just my. And I'm not pushing super hard. I'm just buffing. Just buffing. Wow. Just buffing it off. I'm sweating here. Oh, one thing. Hmm? We need to... Okay, I need to show them this, this, this stuff. Alright. So... Alright. The Trail Boss has plastic. SC1. Alright. I'm promoting a ton of products today. SC1. <laughs> Isn't that sponsored? I've used it on my four-wheelers. I've used it on my dirt bikes. I've used it on my, my Wrangler Rubicons. Um, New bike in a can, prevents buildup of mud and rubber, protects against the elements. This stuff shines the heck out of uh, plastic and preserves it. So to prevent from over dusting, I'm gonna spray some on here and I'm gonna put it on an applicator pad and I'm gonna apply it like this. It does evaporate quickly, so if you need to do this, do it. Nice long strokes. And it's gonna smell really good, mm -hmm. and it's really slippery. So when you put this on, if you put this on your floor mats, your feet would be sliding everywhere. So anything that gets on it, it'll slip off of it. Um, okay, it looks like underneath is a little dirty, but I'll clean that before I apply it. So here, I'm gonna just spray kind of close, prevent that dusting. Oh, it smells good. Yep, smells like a. Apply that to your plastic. Okay, yep. So <laughs> <laughs> this one is a little more. Uh, you're gonna have to be careful. Don't get it on your headlights. So. Apply this to your plastics. 
I want to prevent it from uh, that because it's a little wet. If it gets hit with water, it's hydrophobic, so it will completely come uh, be very slippery uh, and repel water. This will prevent them from sticking. Stuff that applicator pad in there. Alright guys, so that's a quick wash of my truck. That's how I do it. You should do it right so you're not scratching it and, and beating it up. Um, I used SC1, Adam's Car Shampoo, Briot Ceramic 3-in-1, Invisiglass, and my, my foam sprayer from uh, old good old Harbor Freight. For the tires, you're going to want to use a uh, tire cleaner. I use the Chemical Guys and a soft bristled brush. And then um, you just go ahead and rinse. I normally do it last. You can do it first, but I'll do it last because I'll spray it off gently. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment below if you have any questions and we'll be having another video up shortly.